Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a very cool animation so you can create like a slideshow or something in Photoshop. So I've got some images right here, so this one's here and I want to animate them. But I want to do something really different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the crop tool and I'm going to zoom out a bit and uh, what I want to do is I want to expand my canvas but I'm going to be holding shift and alt shift to maintain the exact proportions and alt from, to be from the middle so I'm just going like so and as you can see we've got some grids and I'm going to try to kind of match so as you can see the middle image it's right in here between the these guides and obviously I'm going to grab some guides like so like so try to be more accurate when you're doing it I'm just doing it like a bit quicker so you get the idea and now we have some guides and I'll click OK because I'm happy as it is so what I want to do now is I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to select the first image on my layers and I'll just drag it into the first square get the second one and drag it to the other one get my third one drag it to the other one and the other one something like so like this and the last one right there okay <clears throat> if you want so it's not as obvious you can like create kind of a border between so that's what I'm going to do actually because it's not very accurate what I've done so what I'm going to do is right here on top just click once hold shift and now click now I'm going again there like so click once hold shift and click down and I'm going to do the same to the horizontal lines like so and like so and we need something around the sides so I'm going just to do something like this as well not as thick so nearly done bear in mind I'm holding shift to maintain proper line so view clear guides and this is what we've got so what I want to do now is I want to go into edit and define a pattern and I'll just go like slide and I'll click OK very cool so the reason why I've done this was because the original image the original image I'm going to revert the original image is uh, 1113 pixels by the height 737 at 72 uh, pixels per inch and uh, if I wouldn't expand the canvas I'll, it, 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 you wouldn't be able to see the proper quality of the photo so expanding that now we, ha we are back on the original file that we can see properly so now we're just going to add a new layer uh, I'm going just to just fill with black I'm happy with that and I'm going to my layer style and I'm going to add pattern overlay so there you go the very last one we've done so now because we can actually move all of this I'm just going to kind of make it even all around and I'm happy how cool is that well now let's start with the funny stuff so I'm going to window and timeline if you're using other version of Photoshop that's not CS6 it will be animation so I'm going to create a video timeline <coughs> so I'm just going to 
right here and I want to animate the style of this uh, of this so I'm going to add a keyframe into style and uh, let's say on two second mark I want to change this so I'll just double click pattern overlay and I'm going to zoom out where I can get all the other photos so let me just, just I'm going to cancel just because I want to zoom out so I can see like so yeah I'm happy that now so now we I can see if I can 31 let's see 34 34 let's see 33 yeah this will do actually 34 I'm just going for 34 okay so something like so I'll click OK and now just added another keyframe so now I'm just going to move along another two seconds double click pattern overlay and now I want to see another photo this was the first one now I want to see this one here so I'm going to 100% and I'm just going to move to the next one something like so I'm happy I just want to leave it for a couple of seconds so I'm going to pattern overlay and uh, I'm just going to drop the opacity and bring it back up so it will add just a keyframe nice little trick and as you can see this is how it starts so I'm going to hit play it stays here shows for a while so now I'm going to the other um, to second mark like so pattern overlay and uh, 34 make it even something like so I click OK and now I'm just going to just move along in here pattern overlay I'm going to 100% and now I want the other photo so I'll just drag like so okay and I want to keep it for a few seconds or just four seconds or so so pattern overlay drag the opacity down and up again so it will add a keyframe and I'm just I just want to expand to have a bit more time with this so I'll just drag like so so now I'm going again to pattern overlay 34 like this I'll click OK and now I'm going to get another photo again so 100% now I want but let's say I don't want to select this photo let's go for the other one for this one here and you'll see like how cool this will be so I'll go like this leave it for a few seconds again 34 make it like this click OK now move along again in here on timeline and let's go to 100% and let's say we want to animate uh, we've done this one, let's do this one here now and you'll get the idea in a second so OK and I'm going to leave it as it is for time being so you get the idea there's no point of me be doing every single image but let's go back in timeline like so and let's hit play so it's very cool stays for a while moves along It's very cool. So, I hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to do animation based on this and post it on my Facebook page. So, feel free to take a look and see the final result. But you get the idea. Just play with the 
just create a pattern, play with pattern overlay and animate the style and as you can see it's very quick, very easy uh, and it's very cool very cool indeed that's it, that's it for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye for now